trillions will flow through cryptos like Stellar XLM and Zion coins will benefit. Now, how am I deriving at that? How am I coming to that conclusion that these trillions could flow through this blockchain ecosystem like Stellar? Well, let me just say this. Before all of that, please like, subscribe. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And I can keep delivering more and more content like this to you more frequently. Now, with that aside, it's clear. Stellar really is the only one with a direct line to the incumbents. What does that mean? And how, how is this possible? Well, when you look at the partnership with the UN, when you look at the partnership with the FTC, the CFTC even, um, who's on board with this blockchain committee? BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan and these three just keep crossing paths now I feel from what I get from what I understand from what I gather is that these big banks are interested in blockchain they don't want to tell you that they don't want to tell me that they don't want anyone to know they want to be the first never going to be the first but they want to be the first to make the big move, right? What's the big move? The new financial system. The plan. Now this, don't get me wrong, this isn't fact. This isn't the fact of a matter. This is actually real speculation from a fundamental point of view. Fundamentally, I think the banks no, they don't have complete control. They are governed like you and I by rules and regulations. And if they don't abide by, they get slapped with a hefty fine. One too many, game over. Business is done. That's the reality of it. And we don't really know what margins they're trading on. We don't know that. Not when you're talking trillions and trillions of dollars. We don't know the margins. We don't know that few billion here, a few billion there, could tip the scales. We don't know that. Therefore, I believe it's within the big bank's interests to have a good control over blockchain. To have a good, strong control over blockchain because it's going to be the new financial system. And they know it. And I think that they believe that government, in fact, government, do not want blockchain to succeed, or rather governments around the world. And they put up this guise that they do. And actually it's the banks that don't want blockchain to succeed. But think about it. Think about decentralized money. What does that mean for banks? less control for government. What does it mean for people? Less control for, for government. Now, look, you have to understand, right? Banks don't really care about who controls what money. They're just good at collecting it all. And I tell you why. Understand what a bank is. When you look at a river, look at a river. I'm looking at one right now. And you can see how the water flows through this river. You know, and what enables the water to flow? What enables it? It's the channels, it's the banks, yeah? All the banks are interested in is ensuring the flow of liquidity. And with that, they can scoop up as much cash as they can. But if regulation says that, nope, the river will not flow that way anymore, it needs to take a diversion because we're going to build a big road down there. Those banks are going to suffer. Those people are going to suffer that are on that river bank. No more water, no more liquidity for you. 
that's a bank. That's what's been happening with Signature Bank, probably more banks to come, with SVB, you name it. All these smaller banks are gonna suffer and government will have that control over them. Control. Blockchain offers them more control. Blockchain offers the people more control. Now, government may say that, yes, okay, but, you know, these banks can be unscrupulous in the way that they operate and defraud you out of your money. And they could, and that's right, and that's a fact of the matter. So can blockchains. You know, we've seen it. FTX, so can many other companies. You know, it, you have to find the reputable, reputable one, right? It's that simple. You need to go with the reputable bank. You know, they have to check certain boxes for you. Yeah? Same with blockchains. Now, take it as you will. You know, you may differ from my opinion. You may say, no, no, down with the banks. This is a Bitcoin thing, right? Down with the banks. It's the bank's fault. It's loose monetary regulation. Loose monetary regulation if the regulations were tighter the financial crash 2008 would not have happened fraud would not have been so rife you know but then flip side of that there may not have been any boom in any economy because of these things these issues regulation too much red tape too much you know it's stifling our operations. We all know what it's like to be stifled. We all know what innovation is like when it's stifled. SEC, Genza, stifling innovation. That government agency is an issue for blockchain. Is an issue. So I really just wanted to pick up on that and sort of bring forward what I'm actually thinking right now and as you see today in the markets you know things are a bit red ECB have released their interest rate 0.5% hike the markets in the US didn't like that had a little reaction but won't last long I think we're in that period of stagflation at the moment I think with the markets there's going to be some sideways action it's unclear at the moment if we are now immediately seeing this downturn I'm still on the fence I'm not either way right now even though we've got big figureheads out there talking about a Great Depression on its way. This year, stocks plummeting another 90%. This year, potentially. There's, it, I think it's round the corner. If it's this year, is it this year? I don't know. All the signs are there. All the hallmarks are there. Banks failing. But I just wonder whether it is another trigger, whether it is another mechanism to force the Fed into printing, to force a bill from Congress for something or other to print X amount of trillions. I wonder. We shall see. I'm Nathan. AKA Nathan of Zion, smash the Zion coin up there, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna try and make it about AMM. I'm doing some experiment here at the moment, making markets. Stay tuned, have a great day. Take care.